So uh, this is our M Audio Venom. It's one of our Avid products, and uh, we're calling it our virtual analog synthesizer, right? So what we've done is we've gone and sampled some of the greatest vintage synthesizers in the world, and we have all those waveforms directly here uh, within this keyboard. Now we're not content to just copying those, those sounds, of course. We're actually using our own digital signal processing to mash and mangle it to where it becomes essentially our own unique sound. And you know, modern music is all about that in your face, up front, you know, very aggressive type of sound. And um, we really feel that we've accomplished this and have our own voice with Venom. So talk is cheap. I'll play it a little bit for you so you can actually hear it. So um, here's some of that aggressive uh, sound that we were talking about. So you get that nice, sturdy, aggressive sound. We wanted to get into doing things uh, like, you know, cutoffs on that. So once again, this is our own unique sound that we're dealing with. Um, Transformers. Yes. So aside from being aggressive and in your face, we're totally capable of doing the, the beautiful flowing and lifelike uh, pads as well too. Uh, for that I like going into my multi-mode because multi-mode allows me to take up to four individual single parts, layer them together uh, to create something completely different. So um, each one of these single parts can actually have its own arpeggiator as well and insert channel. So you really have a lot of possibilities. So let's play a little bit here. And pay attention, I'll hold it out for a while and you can hear all those little kind of inner workings of the arpeggiators going on. great pads by using the arpeggiation uh, insert effects on each of those and, and layering all of our effects together. Now, we also have uh, the ability to take a kit, so if I were to go through and dial in one of our individual kits, and these are all individual kit, right? So what I can do in multi-mode is I can take a kit, I can apply uh, an arpeggiator to it, and have that arpeggiator play a pattern or a sequence. So we've got. So this is not a loop playing, it's actually, you know, an arpeggiator triggering the individual components of the kits. So I can go through and, of course, change, uh, change the patterns on the fly as well, too. So when they're switched up. So it's not just like I'm switching loops. Um, you also hear the bass because, like I said, it's multi layered, so we've got a bass with an arpeggiator as well. And then my top part is usually, you know, a lead or a. Sort of arc or pad on top. Here we've got that we can play. And really on the interface, we wanted to focus on making it sleek and intuitive. I've got two hands. It's really difficult if I had 12, 16 you know, knobs. There's not much that I can do with that. So we boiled it down to four knobs, one button. They're actually switchable between which row you select up here at the top. So for example, if I wanted more delay, on that particular note, I can select it and use my um, FX Send. All in real time. Another really cool feature is that I can have things like my modulation wheel and my pitch bend wheel uh, solely affect one of the parts, so it's not going to go across the board. So if you listen here, you listen to the drums, I'll play my part. Now I'm going to use the cutoff here for the drums. It's hard to talk and play at the same time. Only affecting the drums. Same thing with pitch bend wheel. I like to use the pitch bend as kind of a way to fill, because it's only on the drums. So I'll play again. tons of flexibility, and I'm only showing you what's on the board so far. So for the person that really wants to get in and tweak, 
plug in a USB cable straight into your computer. And as you see on screen, we actually have our editor that gives you access to all of the individual parameters uh, within our synthesizer uh, venom. So you can see we have uh, three oscillators. We've got our mixing section here in the middle. And note that we have uh, an external module. So we do have the ability to bring in a microphone or a guitar input and actually shoot that through Venom and utilize the filters, envelopes, and all that to kind of mash up that sound as well.